so that's one at that's one avenue um we bring into this so that you as you know caregivers loved ones and if your loved one wants to do, look at that that's an option um you know the first graduating class like she said was last year so it'll be it's great the second part of tonight um is talking about what a day program looks like um you know we are an employment first state we'd like everyone if they want to work um have the capability to work to to work um, and Continuum does provide some um, support employment opportunities too, but tonight they're going to highlight mostly around their um, day program aspects of kind of what we do, you know, at a day program system. I believe is Samantha, are you on? Yes, hi, I'm here. Uh, can you see me now? <laughs> yep. Hi, is it okay if I share my screen? Of course. Okay. All right, can you see it? Yes. All right, so first, we are gonna talk about um, support employment and day program. First, we're gonna talk about support employment and, um, and then we'll talk about um, day program activities. Um, so I am Samantha Sweet and I'm the support employment and TANF supervisor for Continue of Colorado. Um, Brianna and Amy are here as well and they're here to answer some questions at the end. And then Caitlin is the day program and activity supervisor, and she's going to talk about day program a little bit later. So who is Continuum? Um, we're a nonprofit agency. We support, um, we provide services to people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And our mission is to be a partner in choice and independence by collaborating with individuals and their families to provide high quality lifetime supports. So what do we do? We provide residential services, home and community support services, transportation, day activities, and um, employment services. So what's next for you? Um, you know, um, after, well, after listening to the last presentation, you guys have a lot of choices after high school, you know, college, trade school, um, and uh, staying at home, making new friends, learn a new hobby, join a team, get a job. And so today we're gonna talk about support, employment, and activities. Uh, so first I have a video to share with you. I hope the sound works. Um, and this video is about supported employment. Hold on real quick, you have to make sure you oh. shared your sound. Oh, yep, that's right. Share computer sound, there we go. Tables, pick up trays, clean, clean microwaves. Helping me to learn a lot for my job because without her, I cannot get, I cannot work at Children's Hospital without her. Um, so my role um, working with Taryn is as her employment consultant or her job coach, and in that I just help Taryn at work, check in with her, help her maintain and have successful employment, if that means helping her learn new tasks, checking in with her supervisor, just making sure she's enjoying her job and that she's doing a good job.
So permanent employment is giving someone an opportunity that that needs to prove what they can do. And I am one of those employees that got that opportunity. So I hope that someone that's watching this video can get an opportunity just like me. So we just wanted to share that video a little and show you a little bit about um, some of the individuals we work with out in the community and what their job looks like. Um, so some of the questions we typically ask is what is a job and what does it mean to work? And why should you work? Um, well, the state of Colorado thinks it's really important and they are implementing programs to help. The Office of Employment First is putting efforts and funding into work programs to increase collaboration across agencies. There's funding for career growth because the state knows that your first job is most likely not your forever job. Um, is, it is also a good opportunity to help others in your community. There's a sense of camaraderie when we meet new people and work with others. Um, and there's an intrinsic value and sense of pride that many people feel when they work. Um, a job is something that can help you grow and learn new skills, but also highlight and fine tune um, your current skills. It's hopefully something that you enjoy doing and something you might be passionate about. And it's an opportunity to earn money for yourself um, and save for your future. Um, so this is um, something we created. It's a roadmap to employment. Um, it's something that we share with individuals and teams who express interest in work. Um, I'll just briefly talk a little bit about the path. Um, but, you know, uh, you might, if you're interested, then you might contact your case manager with your local CCV um, to initiate the Division of Vocational Rehab process. And then once that process has begun, you would um, meet with the supported employment team. Um, you would begin working with an employment consultant and, um, and do an assessment with them to identify interests and skills. And there are other pathways, um, you know, after assessments, um, and there are different ones in this. And I believe, um, Luke, you have those to share with people. Um, but um, most often people go into job development if they're interested in getting a job. Um, so then the employment consultant and the individual would work together to apply for jobs, um, you know, work on interview skills, attend interviews, and the individual is as involved as they would like to be. Um, and then once that individual acquires a job, the employment consultant can be there to help them train for the job and become independent in those tasks. Um, that is like the number one goal is helping the individual become as um, independent as possible. But um, with the waiver, um, we are there to help support them um, through the length of their job and then if they ever want to find a job in the future. So um, our employment services that we currently offer is individual supported employment. And in the video, you saw some of those. Um, some of those places include um, Sprouts, Children's Hospital, TJ Maxx, King Supers, um, Porter Adventist Hospital, and many more. Um, something else we offer is group supported employment, which is very similar to individual um, supported employment. But the main difference is that there is a work group lead there for the length of every, shop, every shift that the individual works. Um, this is because those individuals need full-time support to maintain employment out in the community, possibly due to safety or social skills. These individuals work for businesses out in the community and they're paid the same and complete the same tasks um, as their peers do. Um, and then we offer customized employment, which is helping find employment for people with um, intellectual and or developmental disabilities whose teams may have never considered employment in the past for them because of the significance of their disability. Um, it's finding a customized job out in the community for individuals that may not fit into a typical job description. Um, and I can share more examples about that if you're interested. 
Um, and then pre-employment skills workshops. So um, Continuum has partnered with 80 Works to offer work skills classes to individuals who are either looking for employment um, or interested in furthering their skills to find new employment. And some of the classes offered include communication, emotional intelligence, hygiene, community safety, self-advocacy, and more. Um, and of course, we have been, just like everyone else, we have been impacted by COVID-19. Um, and so some of the things we did pre-COVID, um, we were pretty much all community-based. We had one-on-one -on -one and group services. And today um, we have gone back to in-person services as well as we have virtual services. And the virtual, um, what it looks like is maybe virtual coaching, virtual soft skills trainings, meeting with supervisors and individuals outside of their job. Um, but then of course we still do in-person in their job if they need um, that support in the, um, in the business. Um, and then some of the changes that um, we've noticed through the pandemic um, is maybe um, some of the positive things is that individuals um, that we support have maybe taken on new responsibilities, become even more independent and have adapted to change more easily. And some of the future goals that we have are to increase technology um, with the support that we provide. So we're currently working with a program that uses an app um, uh, as a type of virtual job coach and the individuals have access to that app as well as the employment consultants and they can help create tasks, update tasks and, inter and interact with the individuals virtually. It's helping to create more independence for the individual so that they can rely on themselves rather than the job coach as much, as well as see in real time the progress that they have made. Um, the app is also created in a way to help fade away from the individual just as a job coach would, um, but they can always come back um, if their employment needs them to learn a new task or if they want to learn something new. Um, it's just to ensure that they are becoming as independent as possible, but help them, but help support them to get there. Um, and then something else that is a future goal is increasing natural supports in their workplace. So um, a coworker who, you know, maybe works the same shift as them um, and can help them, you know, if they need something during that shift and the employment consultant isn't there. Um, so that is it for supported employment. Um, and we will definitely answer, um, I see there's stuff in the chat, we'll definitely answer that at the end. Um, but this is a little peek into um, day activities and then Caitlin will share more about that. One of the most awesome things about the day program is no matter what we're doing, um, we're building meaningful relationships every single day. I like it here. I like artwork and writing and drawing and coloring and music. I've been coming to continue about six or seven years. My favorite art practice is making stuff out of dough. I love everything. At the day program, we work with adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Um, we have different programs that cater to different wants and needs. And our overall goal is the idea that we all get to wake up every day and go to work and do something that's meaningful to us. Um, and so a lot of the activities that we do facilitate community interaction, encouraging mental and physical growth through different exercises, puzzles, games, and just allowing our group of people to make friends and just have meaningful interactions every single day. They're not sitting at home. They're here making difference in people's lives because we volunteer. We do Meals on Wheels, which delivers um, different um, meals to people that couldn't get out. Like yesterday, I mean, we delivered Meals on Wheels and it was snowy and those people probably wouldn't have lunch if we didn't deliver it. I like to on the uh, tail for Meals on Wheels. Take bags of food to people that are sick. I donate my clothes that I don't want. I give them to the, the Goodwill or to the people who don't have any clothes. I like Bon Tip. I used to be in it long term. I see a lot of our individuals getting to do something that they love and sort of learning what they love. My favorite is to you know, buy those cards I like to play with. Randy, see who wins.
Sometimes I don't get to win. And here, their program will do all sorts of crafts. I made a crown today. Bowling. Yeah, I like to bowl. We bowl in groups. Oh, the highest payoff activity is definitely bowling. Bowling, I think people would line up to do bowling every single day. I really love my job. I think I'm really fortunate that I don't have, I shouldn't say job, I think I have a career. Um, I'm very fortunate that I actually love what I do every day and uh, very fortunate that I think I get more out of it than some of the individuals. I feel like there are so many things that make me happy about my job. One of them is just the creativity, being able to bring something new to the table every single day. Um, and I think that it's really cool to provide our clients with different options for what they want to do, you know. It's easy to get, to, for some of them to get stuck in something like, I want to do the same thing every day. And so it's really fun to bring something new to the table and share it with them and see them sort of grab onto it and make it their own. I take that home with me every single day, these lights of just, wow, you gave me something and I give you something today. Stars this night. The only night deep in your heart it takes us Siding off the damn my own Deep in your heart it takes us All right, Caitlin, I'll let you take it away. Caitlin, are you there? Oh. Oh, she just disappeared on me. Hi, everyone. It's me. <laughs> Hi, Tyler. Um, um, I can talk a little bit about okay. it until she comes back. Um, so day activities. So there's um, skill maintenance and development, community engagement, um, socializing with peers, um, talking about health and safety um, uh, many of the days. Um, they also um, have specialized habilitation. Um, they have in-person, virtual, and they have different classes. And these are some of them. Um, so community projects, fitness, arts and crafts, um, some of the classes are safety skills, money and time management, self-advocacy, -advoc um, and then some of the virtual things that they've been doing, um, music and sing-along, current events, puppet shows, virtual trips, and so on. Um, supported community connections. So what does this look like? Um, Caitlin, I see that you're back. Is your sound... Oh, no. Can't hear you. It's okay. <laughs> um, so what does this look like? So in-person services, um, small group settings in the community, um, and then they also, you know, volunteer. They visit museums, um, nature centers, and cultural events, fishing, um, nature walks, swimming, bowling, and you guys saw some of that in the video as well. Um, there's definitely been an impact of, from COVID-19, of course. Um, so pre-COVID, they had traditional day program, you know, where they would go out and volunteer. That was similar to what you saw in the video. They would go and volunteer in different, in different places as well as um, um, be inside and learn and have those skills classes. Um, and the services were from around nine to three. Today, um, obviously there's a tighter guidance to keep everyone safe. So they've had virtual and small cohorts, um, in-home and outdoor ventures. Um, there's a many different scheduling choices. As you can see over here on the right, this was a virtual um, sing and dance um, day that they had um, to Madagascar and um, they, they have these virtual like weekly sing, sing and dance and little um, classes that they're doing. Some of their future, future goals um, are focusing on virtual and community-based. Um, they've also been going to, you know, different parks and um, parks throughout the day in different places that they can go in, in maybe just smaller groups. Um, maybe like a different, 
Oh, there you were, Caitlin. Can you hear me? Now we can. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll let you take over. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, so getting echo, is it echoey? <laughs> it's okay, I can hear you. Okay. Um, so yes, we are looking at, as we move into this COVID world and what that looks like, our goal moving forward would to be focusing on how we can better incorporate technology into our individuals' lives, helping them learn how to better use technology independently as possible. If you wanna to go to the next slide. Okay, so we wanted to give an idea of what our schedule looks like. Uh, we do believe that most of our individuals need to have no two days looking like the same. Uh, our individuals that join our services typically have both the spec hab and the supported community connection units in their plan, which gives them the opportunity to take advantage of both opportunities that we have. Our individuals have a chance to pick from over 30 different Zoom classes a week. These classes are all live, so our staff can interact directly with the individuals in real time. Currently, we offer our activities Monday through Friday from roughly 8.30 to 4.30. Our classes run for roughly 35 to 60 minutes. So with all these options, our individuals have the ability to work around their prior commitments, such as an appointment or something. Um, on this schedule, you can see that this individual actually is participating in Zoom classes, in-person supported community connection opportunities, as well as working. Which leads to the question on the next slide, which route is best for you? So we did present about these opportunities as separate act activities or employment, but we really wanna offer the idea that you can choose both. There's no need to pick. Um, so we want to work with people to help them figure out exactly what route is best for them. So next slide. So attach, here you can see um, if you have any questions, Brianna is the best contact for employment services and Amy is the best contact for our day activities. And we provided a couple of additional links for any information that might be helpful beyond this PowerPoint. Well, th well thank you. Um, does anyone, if the group, I want to stop your sharing for a moment. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, does anyone in the group have some questions for Continuum? 